Christina from the USA. Hi, I'm Grace, I'm from Australia. Hi, I'm Joanna from Singapore. I think I only heard it maybe a little bit on some YouTube videos, but oh. never in person. I don't think so. I am I the first Singaporean you've met? Maybe. <gasps> Singaporean English. Singlish? Singaporean English is usually used on a day to day life basis. We don't use this in formal settings, so we code switch. I'm speaking like standard English. If I'm speaking in Singaporean English, you guys wouldn't be able to understand me. This is usually used among friends mm. or like family, and this is identity. Like if you're overseas and you hear Singlish, we'll be like, but yeah. <laughs> Singaporean. So this is like a mix of a lot of different languages like Mandarin, Chinese, Malay, Tamil, which are official languages with English, so four official languages. Wow. So you guys are gonna learn this today. Oh, so this oh, is going English. to be really exciting. I'm really excited. I'm really yes. excited too. For you guys who are like English speakers, you would have to put down your native Accent, okay, you have to take away your th sounds. You, we don't use th, okay, and then we have a very strong accent because we want to get it quick, and it's very effective form of communication. We would say, wow. and we pronounce t instead of th. So, for example, three, we don't pronounce three, we go tree. 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 Yeah. One two three. One two three. tree. Yeah. One, so two, you don't pronounce your th. Forget that. Yeah. <laughs> Forget that. English. Throw it out the window. <laughs> English coming. Yes, let's okay. go. <laughs> All right, so the first word that we're going to look at is lighter. So how would you pronounce that in like standard English? Lighter. Lighter. So we go lighter. Lighter. Do you have lighter. a lighter? Oh, but the T is a D. And like we don't pronounce the R and go like lighter. Mm. We just go lighter, like you lighter. lighter. Yeah, yeah, lighter. yeah. And the next one is water. Water. Water, water. yeah. Water. Can I have some water? Water, please. Water, water please. please. Yes, so you don't pronounce water. the R. So you just have to put that away. But it feels like I'm speaking very far back. Yeah, a lot of throat. throat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of throat. Like right. water. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This is like, you know, the park, right? Usually, mm, yeah. you guys would pronounce the R. We say park. Yeah, because in Singlish, we go like park. Puck. Very it's very sh short. Yeah. yeah. Because you know, like effective communication, we need it to be quick. So yeah. like, let's go to the puck. Let's go to the puck. Let's go to the puck. Yeah, but even when you say let's, you're saying let's go yeah, to yeah. the Yeah, yeah, let's puck. go to the puck. So we don't pronounce every single letter. Wow. So the next one is car, but in Singlish we go like ka. 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 Yeah. Oh, you're really like just, just taking out ka. the R. Just to throw out the R. <laughs> ka. And the next one we go like art, but like we don't go art, we go like at. 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 The R's at. are really just, just not out English. And there it goes. At. 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 at school, we go just at school. At school. Yes, oh my god, your pronunciation is really good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't pronounce the L as well. Like basically at the school. end, vowels, consonants, whatever, you just throw it out. And the last one, we just go okay. 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 Like just O and K basically. Okay. okay. But it's still quite low. Yeah, okay. okay. Like okay, okay law. Oh yes, we have a lot of abbreviations as well. Basically, in Singlish, grammar does not exist. <laughs> <laughs> so just now we throw That's away nice. like consonants, ending consonants right now. I love oh, it. Okay. <laughs> so for example, you go like, can you do this? We just go, can or not? Oh wow. <laughs> Can or not. Can or not. Can so, or for not. example, if you need someone to help you do something, can or not. If you say that in the US, I think you may come off as like kind of rude. Ah, yeah, that's what I'm yeah. thinking. <laughs> like if someone... it's, it's very direct, but it's just like, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Um, this comes from Mandarin Chinese. So, mm, like, okay. can or not if you direct translate it. But then, mm. even non Mandarin Chinese speakers, they just use it as well because they're just so used to it. Mm. So, like, with parents, like, I can go to my mom and be like, I want to eat, like, rice. Can or not? Can oh. or not? Yeah. Instead of Long sentences like I can do it, you'd be like can. Oh, can, <laughs> can, can. It's so can. straight, yeah, straight straight forward. Forward. Huh? If you cannot do it, we cannot. Cannot. Yeah. Cannot. So the next one is actually very commonly used in Singapore mm. as well. We don't go like I don't need it because it's too long. Mm. So we just go no need. No, no need. Yeah, no need. No need. What uh, situation uh, could I use? Like for it? example, do you want some chili? No need. Oh, yeah. oh <laughs> yeah. can you say it like in a restaurant even though they're not like yes, closed? They can. Yeah. So for oh. example, do you need the menu? Oh no need. Like do you need tissue? Like yeah. no need. Yes, oh my god, you guys are getting a hang of yeah. it. There we go. <laughs> Have you heard that in, in Australia? No need? No, I haven't heard that oh, before. Yeah. This I English. I no think need. in in the US, like maybe a little bit, mm. but not not too often. Yeah, never never in in like a setting where you're talking to someone that you, mm -hmm. you're not close with. Yeah. yeah. Ah, okay, this is the really exciting part. We wouldn't say words, but it's just like terms that we add to 
like the end of our sentences, actually has a lot of influence from Mandarin Chinese as well. But in Singlish, we kind of use it in English terms. So, so for example, if I'm telling you like, okay la, like, oh, it's such a mix okay, of yeah. two languages. Okay, That's so but the la just there's no meaning nothing. to nothing. Meh is quite interesting. So mm -hmm. if I ask you really meh, like really meh? I'm really like curious to know. Like mm -hmm. for example, you say, oh, you're from Australia. I'm like, really meh? Mm -hmm. I'm like, are you really Australian? Really like leveled up. Yeah, like whoa, okay. totally. it goes up. So really like you're really curious about yeah. what the person's talking yeah. about. You can mm -hmm. add that to kind of that. Yes, yes. So it's like that's meh. And then we also have law. Law. Yeah. So like law is more of like you don't have a choice. So for example, I need to submit my assignment and you're like, oh, I have to do it law. Oh. Yeah, I just, I have to do I it. So it like, and then we also have one more which is le. Le. It's more of like I'm not really sure about something. Not sure le. Oh. oh. I'm not really 100% sure. Could you? Of. Answer like, oh, what kind of what kind of ice cream flavor do you want? Vanilla lay? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe vanilla. In that situation, <laughs> we'd be no phrases. Really that. What about like if you go to the cinema, like what movie do you want to see? And it's like I don't know lay. Oh my god, that's that good. Work? Yes, like that's for example, good. if you're with a friend okay. and we go to sport, like want to watch a movie, but I go like, what do you want to watch? Like, I don't know lay. Uh, oh. But it's very fun. Yeah, yeah, we just speak like, really quick. If I'm really like frustrated a bit, you can go like, I don't know lay. Like stop asking me. Oh. <laughs> like oh. I don't know lay. You choose kind of if you're asking me like what kind of movie do I want to watch, I can go like you don't know me? Ah. Like, how can you ask me? I thought you would know what I want to watch, kind of. Why? Like, you don't know me. You should know me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so different. Which is why it's really difficult for foreigners to kind of understand it, mm. unless you right. have been growing and staying in yeah. Singapore yeah. for a really long and time. Yeah. Different situations, yeah. In Singlish, another category is that we insert like words from another language, like from Malay, mm. from like Chinese. For me, I grew up in the Chu Chu and Hokkien speaking family, so I speak that as well. So we kind of insert it here and there. So you guys are gonna get another mind blown session here. Oh, <laughs> I'm ready. ready. Ah, okay. This is really commonly used. Wait, 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 yeah. So for example, today is a really hot day. Okay, mm -hmm. it's a really hot day, and I'm like, wow, Wait, Oh, this sucks. Kind of. Oh really? But yeah, it's along like, that line. Like for example, it's really hot. Wow, but yeah. It's like um, I can't bear it. Oh yeah, right. Like, okay. Yeah, I can't handle it. Can you talk about your homework too? I have so much homework. Yeah. A lot of work I have to do. Yeah. So like for example, how's work? Wow, Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's good. I like okay. it. Try pronounce again. Wait, Yeah, wait, yeah, So you have to be like wow, oh, wait, I've got an action. Wait, oh my God! Yes, <gasps> that's right. Oh, wait, yes, that's right. All the Singaporeans out there. <laughs> they are doing a really good job. Okay, this is another one that we use it very often. This is not very polite, I would say. Like oh. for example, in a sentence, I can go like "siawa," like oh. "you siawa." You suck. A bit on the negative yeah. side. You're so rude. It that means um me. crazy. Oh. Like you are crazy. Like "siawa." Yeah. So usually we go like "siawa." Siawa. Yes. Oh my God. Correct. <laughs> yeah. For example, if you're talking to a friend and she's acting a bit crazy, why are you so siaw today? Oh. So oh. you can use yeah, it. Yeah. Use it differently. Oh, so like instead okay. of crazy, you insert it to become oh. sell. Right, and then oh, okay, this is gonna be interesting too. Well, you have to think it in the very literal okay. term. Catch no ball, like they're not smart, they're not catching <gasps> it. Oh my god! Oh, is it right? Yes! Oh. oh yeah, it means I don't understand you. Like for example, oh. when I'm speaking like maybe too quick and the person can go like, wait, 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 what? I catch no ball. Like oh. I didn't pick up any of Yeah, that. I didn't I didn't get what you're saying. I catch no ball. Mm. Catch no ball. Yeah, oh my god, you guys are doing great. Didn't wow. teach that's yeah, fine. it's so good. Oh, that's so much to remember. <laughs> ah, okay, this is going to be quite interesting. Okay, <laughs> so shag in Australia means sex, <laughs> but it's not in use in that sense. <laughs> I learned shag because we don't say shag in the US. I only know it because. You know Austin, Austin Powers. Powers that's what I'm gonna be saying. He always said shag shag. In Singlish, this is a bit different because it means like I'm really tired, exhausted. Oh. Because it means like after sex, right? Sometimes. It means. <laughs> <laughs> In Singapore, like I'm pretty sure some people are not aware that it means sex. Yeah. But we use it in terms of like, wow, shag. Like I'm really tired. Oh. Wow, shag. But I'm tired. I mean, like the context is still very different. Yeah. So, so it's a bit different. Quite very. Yeah, very different. <laughs> you gotta be so. careful. Yeah, this is another one that is very common. I th I feel like it's gonna be don't mess around. Like stop yeah. joking. Yes. Don't oh play. my god, you guys yeah. are talented. Or like in if someone in the US also like we, we would say like something similar like.
like I didn't come to play. Yeah. I, I'm not here to mess around. Like I'm here to do business. Yes, it's exactly Same. that. It basically just means don't mess around with me. Yeah. But it's more like a joking side. So for example, can you say it in like an angry way? Wow, well, don't or play there. Yeah. Oh, like, but then you got the yeah. Your face, yeah. Your face eyes go like really that. Serious because like with kids. Sometimes parents oh. go like, you don't play play, huh? oh. uh, you don't mess around and be like, you don't play play, huh? and like, okay. and then you know that after that, yeah, like, if you play play, your parents aren't gonna play. <laughs> oh no, it's over. I'm gonna pay pay for some classes. <laughs> you, your teacher? <laughs> it's so much fun. fun. Yeah. I love how there's so much influence mm. from many different yes. languages. You have yeah. the actual words from some languages yeah. and then you have the translation from some languages. Yeah. But it's, it's so interesting. really interesting. Because Singapore is like a melting pot of different cultures. Mm. So even the language is like mm. a mixture of everything. If you guys are going to Singapore, you guys would definitely hear all these words. It's been on my bucket list. So <laughs> yeah, you guys will definitely use it. Like, don't play play. Don't play hey. play. Don't play play with them, don't okay? Play, play. Let's, let's do a trip together. <laughs> yes. Stay tuned. <laughs> okay, so today, Grace and I learned some Singlish. It was our first time. We had a lot of fun. Thank you for being such a good teacher. They are really good. You guys are such great students. Really? Yeah. Okay, I'm glad. <laughs> so if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Bye. Bye.